Alright guys, welcome back to another trailer reaction. Today we're going to be reacting to the trailer for the movie Lost in Paris, the sequel to Lost in Translation. I was just going to say that, oh my god! Same it's, page. It's totally not though. No, of course not. And I, and I never saw that, but I still desperately want to know what he whispers to her at the end. He says, are you the girl with the pearl earrings? <laughs> are you Lucy? <laughs> you look like Luke, did anyone ever tell you that? It just fills me with questions. <laughs> okay. Um... So I, my questions oh. range from, like, how did this get made all the way to, in the very beginning, we see the letter that the woman finds getting filed right into the trash. How does she even get that letter? They will obviously explain that. I don't think they will. <laughs> I think you'll just see the, um, like, it was a little dirty. I think that's, that's the yeah. full explanation. Okay. You will not know anything else. Is that not enough for you? You that's can film in the details yourself. I can't. It I traveled that. through Santa's trash workshop Makes all the way furious. through France by way of Norway, through um, Amsterdam, where it spent some time at a hostel smoking the hashish. And then well, the prostitute. Yes. <laughs> it's very bright and colorful. And I, I thought when it first started loading up, I'm like, oh, this might be bushy. Like, this might be interesting. Right. Um, but it's, it's, it has a feel of like, – maybe it's just because it's, like, foreign and, like, they have a different uh, goal <laughs> for <laughs> things. Uh, but it, it feels like they're, they're trying to be really good, but they're, they're, like, falling short on that for me. Like, uh, I see a couple of things here where I'm like, oh, that, I like that. Like, when the guy yeah, we dressed up as a girl, stuff, yeah. I, was, I was like, oh, all right, that's kind of funny. He's an interesting homeless man. <laughs> but there's, like, two shots in this whole thing that I was like, I was like, oh, that looks interesting. But there's so many shots that where it, where it doesn't. The homeless dude, uh, you know, wearing the clothes, and then when he comes out of his tent and his feet raise up, like, <laughs> dramatically, I was like, all right. So the, the homeless guy is kind of funny. He looks like he has some, uh, some chops. Yeah. Uh, but well, and so, you know, this girl uh, doesn't seem like she's doing it as the main character, especially. Yeah, so there's uh, like this, you know, I, I had questions too, but they threw in some text cards because I think they realized like everyone would have questions. Sure. And they say something. It's like this is an homage to like Chaplin and like whatever the fuck. And yeah. Th and, and that like filled it in for me when I was like, oh, of course. I hate that shit though. <laughs> So uh -huh. like, cause like for a minute you're like, why is that, why is any of this happening? What's going on? But then it's like, oh okay, that's the idea. Yeah, it's vehicle this, to get these slapstick things across. You know, physical comedy, fucking things, which I guess were good in silent movies or back before people had like comedy. No, there are wonderful slapstick films. This isn't one of them. Like like Chris Farley was a was a fucking slapstick okay. genius. Um, but. A Richard. lot of this, it's just like, it's the Chaplin-esque where, like, it's a built-up of, like, okay, we're going to make a little fake thing of the Eiffel Tower, and uh, this part's going to pop out when you move this in, it's going to fall down. Like, like there's a lot of setup involved in some of these shots, but that doesn't make them good. And if things get really extreme and over-the-top and, like, amazing, they chose not to, like, showcase that here, which I think is a bad move. Yeah. Um, well, they may only have one good shot. They can't afford to waste it. You could see them, though, taking this whole thing of, like, we're going to be in Europe. It's going to be awkward. We're going to give it a little of that. Remember, uh, be, you, you know, you were like, this reminds me of that, like, shark versus eagle yeah. thing. Or, the, like, that weird awkwardness that, like, Wes Anderson, like, weird, like, f like you know, like, you know flavor, colorful, dumb shit. Where she's like, um, 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 and, like, like yeah. you know, but then have, like, a like a Chaplin, you know, com you know, comedy style, like a twist on there. Where it's a lot of, like, falling and tripping, but, like, amazing stuff. Or, like, and then at the end, he catches the arm. And you're like, oh my god, like all oh, it's like dumb, but like I, I don't see anything like that. No. He's peeing, he's doing stuff, the fucking he's trying to eat something. <laughs> the, 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 you know, that's funny because yeah. the guy's fishing and must have done the back thing, not noticed that that he snagged the guy's like hot dog or pork bun or whatever. No, shit like and that then, can uh, happen, and that's that's the fun. But <laughs> I don't know. Like, that's they just, it looks like it cost a good m amount of money because the sets are nice. Like Real I said, they movie. did build things, they're doing things, they're shooting in actual locations, um, but. I don't know. It just doesn't really float for me. Where I'm like, I'm like, yeah, all right. You run weird. That's funny. At one point, there's, there's a pop up like they don't make movies like this anymore, and there's a reason why. My mind literally <laughs> went like, yeah, they don't. <laughs> and you shouldn't. Haven't made silent films since we've had sound. You're right. Sounds a big deal. Uh, this looks charming, but no thumbs down. Yeah, Sorry. Thumbs, thumbs down. All right, guys. Until next time, don't die in a fire. Let us know in the comments below what you think about this movie. We'll see you later.